Hi, welcome to the Gangsplainer. I'm Jeff the Gangsplainer and today I'm Gangsplaining Riverboat. So Riverboat is a Kramer and Kiesling game that came out a few years back. My copy says it was 2017, uh, so make of that what you will. But it's worth a Gangsplain because I haven't actually come across this guy before. I think this is a wonderful little game. The essence of the game is it's a four player game. You have five different things that you can do sitting on the table. The first player will select one of the five actions as the one that he's going to put forward and then the next player, next player, next player, next player, next player. So when the actions come out, they come out in order. Whoever has the marker is going to get a bonus or a benefit from playing that action, but everyone then does that action. So the various actions are you are filling up your uh, your board with workers and that comes off a pile of cards which so we don't know the order of stuff to come out or what's going to come out Once you fill up your board another action is to then trade them in for different types of harvest that go into the spaces you're then Shipping those harvested things or things from your garden you're shipping them off into the harbor and then you're uh, taking some bonus cards and I can't remember for the life of me what the last one is. I will make the video and we'll obviously understand what's happening there. But that's kind of the essence of the game, the ins and outs of the game. So what you end up doing is you have to manipulate what you're putting down so that you can take the right shape of elements up in the board. But then you want to try and keep various elements of your garden together. So if you're going for pumpkins, you're wanting to get a whole bunch of pumpkins so that you can then ship a lot of pumpkins and that's going to get you a lot of points. What I've found is there's a character called the Harbour Master who will gradually work its way around the board. If you can get him up to the end of the board, then all of the stuff that you've brought in on the harbour is going to get a lot of points. If you only get halfway up, then only from where he is to behind him is going to get scored. Um, I found that this has a ruling in it that whoever is furthest forward on the Harbour Master track is the person that will get every point. Everyone else only gets half the points. I actually really dislike that. I find that really an odd uh, way of playing or a wrong way of scoring the game. Uh, it, it doesn't quite make sense to me and I don't actually see the necessity for it. I find that if you've got a couple of players who are going after that Harbour Master thing and pushing, 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 they both probably have downgraded their other stuff. So whoever gets that is most likely to win the game. Um, it, it's the only little bit of rule that I don't actually like. And I think that in future games, I will actually say, don't worry about that half score. Whoever, wherever you're up to on the Harbour Master, that's the score you will get. Um, I, I'm assuming there's a balance thing there, but the problem is that if everyone's going after pushing that Hubmaster forward because they're aware of how many points can come from that, then whoever doesn't get the, the lead on that is not going to win the game. And, and, and it hurts a little bit. It should be possible to not get the lead on that track and still do really well. Not saying you win, but you should still be able to do really well. Now, I'm assuming that there are lots of different ways to try and chase after points and, and things like that. And I, I think that I've got one way. I'm positive there are other ways. I, I just don't like that way of scoring is really what it comes down to. So look, I'll, I think that it's worth your while to have a look at the games playing games nation. I think that I'm going to just ignore that little section of ruling uh, in future games. I will say the, that that exists in the scoring for this particular game in the games nation. But it's, it, it feels a bit there to me, to be honest with you. So, look, there it is. I'll leave it with you and have a, have a look at it, have a feel of it, see what you like, see what you don't like, see if it's a game that would be up your alley. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you would like to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email to thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplainer to keep up to date with the games I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.